hello all in this session we are going to see all orders when i click on this all orders button all the orders whatever user has ordered that will be displayed in the form of table okay let me just show you i'll just click on this all orders you can see all the orders will be displayed and here i am having this delete option okay only admin can delete this particular order okay now we are going to work on this and before that let me just tell you this project is taking very long time to complete and i never thought this project will be taking such a long time but it's completely fine uh, some things take time to complete so i really understand many people are asking me to complete this project as soon as possible even i want to complete this one but because of time constraint and because of many things i'm not able to record the sessions so it takes a lot of time so only for that reason i'm not able to complete the project and also i'm not getting enough time to focus on this particular project so definitely i am going to try to complete this project as soon as possible and once it is complete we are going to start with react projects okay now we are done with this all orders now we are going to work on this all orders we are just going to create simple table we are going to list all the orders that user has ordered and we are going to have this delete button okay let me just come you i'll just show you the process now first inside admin area folder we are having index.php and here i am having all orders okay you can see here i am having all orders now first here i am just going to give get variable here i'll just write here index.php question mark let me just write here list orders list orders dot okay i'll just write here list orders okay only get variable you have to write once this get variable is active here i'm just going to write that one i'll just copy and below this i'm just going to paste and inside this i'm just going to write here list orders okay what variable i have created i'm just passing that one and here i'm just going to create one file that is list orders dot php okay let me just check what i have written okay this one okay list orders i have just written here if this is set then i just have to include this particular file i'll just copy this file name and inside admin area folder i'm just going to create one file okay that is list orders dot php okay this is the simple thing you have to follow first we have to pass inside anchor tag then we have to check for the condition if this is set only then i have to include this file now inside this file let me just write here hello and check i'll save this i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one now you can see only admin area i am having i'll click on all orders as soon as i click on this you can see i am redirected to index.php and this list orders is active and here i am having this hello okay it is working now i'll just remove this one now inside this i'm not going to write any basic boilerplate of html because this file is included inside index.html okay that is index.php and inside this we have already written this boilerplate and also we have included this connect and functions so we don't have to include here again now directly i'm just going to start with h3 heading h3 i'll just write here text center and also i'm just going to give here text success okay whatever stylings you want you can give i'll just write here text success and here i'm just going to write all orders i'll save this now let me just show you i'll refresh this one now you can see here i am having all orders below this all orders i am having one table okay first let me just create the basic table later on we are going to write the php code okay here i'll be writing table and for this table i'm just going to give the bootstrap class table and also i want borders so i'll be writing here table bordered table bordered okay you have to give proper spellings and from top i'm just going to give margin 5 okay these are the bootstrap classes if you are not aware of bootstrap then you can just copy this one or you can just refer bootstrap for 1 to 2 hours then you will understand basics of bootstrap and you can get started with bootstrap and inside this first i'm just going to write table head for this let me just write here bg info inside this table head i'll be having table row and here i just want to give table headings okay totally let me just check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay totally seven headings i'm having so th into 7 inside this first one i'm just going to write here serial number then next i'm having due amount due amount then after that let me just check invoice number total products i'll just write here invoice number then i'm having total products total products then after that i am having order date order status order date status and delete here i will be writing order date 
then I will be writing here status ok whether the payment is completed or not for that we are having status and finally I am having delete option ok admin can delete this order if he wants I will save this now I will just come here I will refresh this one you can see the table heading is created now below this I am having this table data so below this table head I am just going to create table body and inside this table body I am just going to create table row and inside this table row I am just going to pass table data for all these table headings ok let me just write here dummy data 1 here I will be writing A, B, C, D, E and F ok I will just pass these things I will save this now I will refresh this one now you can see here I am having this table data whatever I have passed that data is been displayed for each and every column now for this table body I am just going to give the bootstrap class class let me just write here bg um, bg secondary ok whatever colors you want you can give let me just write here bg secondary and once I give the background color as light gray or black color then text color should be in white color so here I am just going to write text light I will save this now I will just refresh this one you can see the text is visible and also the background color is being changed border is been applied to table because for table I have given here table bordered ok now this entire thing is done ok this basic template is done now what we are going to do instead of displaying this data I just want to display the data that is present inside the database tables ok it is getting loaded let it load I will come to user orders inside this you can see I am having only one order and the status is pending which means that the payment is not done for this order ok now what I am going to do this particular order I just have to display here in place of this data I should be getting whatever data I am having here that should be displayed for me so for that we are just going to write php code now if we are not having any orders then also we should display no orders to display ok so for that also we are going to see now here below this table head I am just going to write the PHP code and here I will just close this one now inside this first what I am going to do I am going to select all the data from the table I will just write one variable I will just write here get orders and here I am just going to write the query select star from user table ok whatever table name you have given just give that table name select star from user table let me just check what table name I have given user orders ok I will just write here user orders select star from user orders now once I have done this one I have to execute this so here I will be writing result result is equal to my SQL I query and this is going to take two parameters connection variable and whatever and wherever we have written this query I am just going to pass that variable ok directly you can write the query as well once it is done now what I am going to do I am going to count the number of rows ok so that if I am not having any orders then that message should be displayed no orders to display ok whatever message you want you can just display that one ok so for that I am just going to write here row count is equal to using this my SQL I count ok my SQL I num rows we can count the rows that is present inside the database table ok whatever result we are getting from here whatever data that is been fetched using this query that is executed here and for that we are just counting the number of rows ok how many number of rows the data is been fetched suppose I am having two datas so now two will be stored inside this row count now what I am going to do now here I just have to display this one I will just write here echo and double quotes I will just close this one inside this I am just going to pass this till here till table body I am just going to pass I will copy this one I will cut from here and here I am just going to paste that one then here I will just change it to single quotes and also here I am just going to change to single quotes ok I am just counting the number of rows then I have just passed this one now below this what I am going to do I am just going to check for the condition if if my row count I will just check here if my row count if it is equal to equal to 0 then I just have to display one message I will just write here echo and inside this I am just going to write here h2 for this I will be giving the class let me just close this h2 and here I am just going to give the class class I will just write here uh, bg secondary not bg secondary I will just write here bg danger ok that will be in red color and also I am just going to give text center and I will be giving margin top of 5 inside this I will just write here no orders yet 
no orders it okay whatever message you want you can just display okay what i am telling whatever data i have fetched from here if that is equal to 0 then i should be getting this message okay no orders to display else else what i have to do i have to fetch all the data from the database and i have to display in this table row okay this entire data i have to display inside that row so here first i have to get the serial number so for that i'm just going to create one variable number 0 and inside this now i have to fetch all the data from the database so when it comes to fetching all the data we have to use while loop okay it is going to run each and every time unless the data is present it is going to run for each and every time now here i'm just going to create one variable i'll just write here row data okay whatever name you want you can give and inside this using this my sqli fetch aso i'm just going to fetch the data and what data we have to fetch the data we got using this query and the data will be stored inside this one i'll copy and inside this i'm just going to paste that okay this is how we are going to execute first i have just uh, first i have written this query i have executed this one i have counted the number of rows if my count is equal to 0 then i should be getting this message or else i should be getting the entire data from the database now once it is done i have to fetch all the data from the database okay let me just check whatever we are having first i am having order id here i'll be writing order id okay this is the variable name is equal to row data okay this particular variable we have to pass and inside this this entire column okay what exactly this whatever name we are having here that should be exactly matching with this one okay i'm just giving the same variable name this is the column name ta okay this is the column name that should be exactly matching with database table column name okay in the same way i'm just going to fetch all the data i'll just copy this three four times then after that we are having user id i'll just write here and here i just want user id user id then after that we are having amount due here and here i'll just write here amount due after that we are having invoice number total products okay you just change it accordingly i'll just write here invoice number then we are having total products invoice number total products order date and order status here i'll be writing and here i'll be writing order date and finally i'm just going to write here order status order status okay this entire data i have fetched from the database now what i am going to do i just have to display this inside the table data now once it is done i have to increment this value because each and every time i don't want that one one two 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 three okay like that data i don't want i just want in serial wise so i have just incremented this value i just have to write number plus plus so first initially my value will be 0 it will come inside while loop it is going to fetch the first row data and here the number will be incremented so here for me the number will be 1 again it is going to fetch the second data now here the number will be changed to 1 for second data again it will increment by 1 so number will become 2 and for second row I will be getting here 2 ok this is how we are just going to display the data now below this I will just write here echo double and inside this I'm just going to pass this entire thing. I'll just copy this entire thing. I'll cut from here and inside this I'm just going to paste. Okay, this is how we are going to pass. Now in place of this data, I just have to display this particular variables. I'll copy this number and here I'm just going to paste. Then I just have to display the amount due. I'll copy. Then I'm just going to paste whatever data we are having amount due. Then invoice number, invoice number total products. I'll copy this invoice number and here I'm just going to paste then we are having total products I'll copy this total products okay let me just change the spelling total products I'll copy and here I'm just going to paste then after total products order date status and delete here I'm having order date copy I'll paste order status I'll copy and here I'm just going to paste and for delete operation we are just going to give the uh, edit key okay let me just write here as of now let me just write here delete i'll save this i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one okay uncaught error call to undefined function okay num rows i just have to change the spelling i'll just come here 
and here I'm just going to write num rows. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the data whatever I'm having inside the database that has been displayed for me. You can see entire data has been displayed. Now what I'm going to do. Okay, now in place of this delete, I just want this particular icon, delete icon. So for that, I'm just going to come to edit. Okay, let me just come to view brands. And from here, I'm just going to copy this thing. Okay, let me just copy this. And inside this list orders, I'm just going to paste that one. And here I'll be pasting that one, list orders. Then anchor tag. I'll just, I'll just remove this anchor tag. As of now, I'm just going to remove then type button okay this entire thing i don't need anchor tag yes i'll just close this anchor tag here i'll say okay only icon i have just pasted here in place of that i have just pasted that icon i'll refresh this one okay here i'm having this icon for this i'll just change the class for this anchor tag let me just write here class class i'll just write here text light i'll save I'll refresh this one. Now the color is been changed. Okay, this is how we are going to fetch the data and we are just going to display that data. First, what we have done, I have just created the simple table and after that, I'm just selecting all the data from the user orders table. I'm executing that one. I'm counting the number of rows. After that, I'm just displaying that one. Okay, now what happens? As I told you, now when I just delete this one, order has been deleted successfully. Now when I come to all orders, you can see this table. Okay, this table column. I'm having no orders yet and also this table head is been displayed okay as I told you we are going to see this one as well now if I delete this one this data will be deleted but this table heading remains same okay because many people will be having confusion how to remove that entire thing okay so that only no orders will be displayed okay that I'm going to explain you when we are going to perform all payments and list users that time we are going to see for all the things we are having the same procedure so at one time we are going to see the entire thing Okay, delete operation I have shown you multiple times. You can just perform the delete operation. The same way we have done for brands, we have done for categories. You can do for all orders as well. Okay, next we are going to work on this all payments and list users. Okay, okay delete you can perform by yourself because we have done multiple times. Okay, we just have to write the query and if you want the confirmation box, that also I have shown you how to pop up that one. Next we are going to work with all payments. Then we will be working with list users.